Trim routers are noisy and you always have to remember to turn them on before a job. A VFD spindle solves all of that. The real question is, does this single upgrade push the Masuder 3S into prosumer territory? Hey everyone, I'm Brett and welcome back to my laser garage. My wife and I run a full-time laser engraving business out of our home, and this channel is all about helping you grow your own laser or CNC business. Today, we're taking a closer look at Fox Alien's new VFD spindle kit for their CNC machines, specifically the Masuder 3S I've got here in the shop. The question is, does this upgrade push the Masuder from a beginner CNC into prosumer territory? And is it the right upgrade for your shop? Let's find out. So let's start with why this spindle matters. If you've already ditched the little starter spindle that comes with most desktop CNC's for a trim router, you've seen how much of a difference that upgrade makes. More cutting power, faster speeds, and quarter inch bits. But routers come with some real limitations. They're super loud, like screaming loud. They're not designed for long duty cycles, so the longer the job, the hotter they get, and eventually the brushes wear out. Speed control is limited, usually stepped settings, not true variable RPMs. And then there's precision. Trim routers typically have more runout, which means your cuts aren't as clean or accurate, especially on detailed work. That's where a VFD spindle comes in. It fixes all of those issues. And that's why this upgrade is such a big deal for the Masuder 3S. The first thing you'll notice when you fire up the spindle is just how different it sounds. Instead of that high-pitched scream from a trim router, this runs with a low, steady hum. You still hear the bit cutting the material, but the motor itself almost disappears into the background. Once you start cutting, the difference becomes even clearer. You can push deeper passes and take on harder materials without the same chatter or vibration. The spindle keeps its RPMs locked in under load, which means more aggressive tool paths are not a problem any longer. And when you check the finished parts, that's where it really stands out. Edges are cleaner, pockets are sharper, and everything fits together more precisely. It's the kind of accuracy that makes jigs or detailed carvings come out looking professional instead of just good enough. One of the biggest changes you'll notice isn't even about cutting performance though. It's how much smoother the workflow feels. You hit start on a job and the spindle powers up automatically. When the cut finishes, it shuts down on its own. No more flipping a switch or wondering if you forgot. That little bit of automation takes stress out of every job. And when you run longer projects, you realize this thing was built for endurance. Trim routers heat up and wear out. A spindle is designed to run continuously, hour after hour without breaking a sweat. The overall shop environment changes too. Instead of being drowned out by the scream of a router, the loudest thing running is usually your dust collection. It feels less like a hobby tool and more like a professional machine. And also, with the 8040 extension kit, the Masuder's cutting area moves into the same range as much larger machines. That opens the door to popular bigger projects, like full-size wooden flags, that just weren't practical before. Pair that with a VFD spindle and you're getting cutting power and precision that start to feel a lot more like what you'd expect from a prosumer level CNC. And it's not just about this machine on its own. With the growing community, aftermarket accessories, and even Fox Aliens expanding lineup of other CNCs, you can see they're building a real ecosystem that supports makers as they grow. Now, is this CNC equal to machines like the Shapeoko, Onefinity, or CNC Labs? Well, maybe not quite. The Masuder is still belt-driven and the frame is lighter, so you don't get the same rigidity as those heavier builds. But here's a trade-off. You're also saving a significant amount of money. And honestly, those design choices aren't all negatives. I can pick up the CNC and move it around my shop all by myself, which you're not gonna do with a 200 pound CNC machine. The important thing is that the value gap has definitely closed. For the price, this upgrade takes the Masuder from a starter machine into something you can confidently use to run a small business or side hustle. And that brings up the real question, who is this upgrade best suited for? I really believe this upgrade is the best option, whether you're a weekend warrior making projects for fun or someone selling products on the side. The quality of life improvements alone make it worth the money. Automatic spindle control through G-code, the ability to run long jobs without worrying about heat, and the quieter, more professional shop environment. It all adds up to a machine that's simply easier and more enjoyable to use. And you may have noticed some of the jigs and accessories I've been making throughout this video. Edge guides, corner squares, cam clamps, even upgraded spoil boards. I'm still testing and refining these designs, but they'll be available soon on my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check back when they launch. 
So here's the takeaway. Adding the VFD spindle to the Masuda 3S completely changes the experience. It's quieter, more precise, built for long jobs, and gives you those quality of life upgrades that make running the machine easier and more reliable. For anyone looking to get more serious with their CNC, whether that's stepping up your weekend projects or building a side hustle, this is the kind of upgrade that just makes sense. I think it's safe to say the Masuda 3S with the spindle and extension kit isn't just a beginner CNC anymore. It's a machine you can really build with. And if you're interested in the jigs and accessories you saw me using here, like the edge guys, corner squares, cam clamps, upgraded spoil boards, keep an eye on my Etsy store. I'm refining those designs now and I'll be announcing when they're ready very soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more CNC and laser content, and I'll see you on the next one.